Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Yeah. Ahoy, and welcome back! This is Fween the Skull Pirate, and today we're dancing our way into some more Gold Saucer content. So, in the last video we did a quick overview of all the different things that are available in the Gold Saucer, and it was a very quick, brief overview of all of them. So this is the first in a series of deep dives that's actually going to break down a little bit more about each of those things. Now. This video is going to be kind of short in comparison to some of the other ones because there's not a whole lot of information to go over with this topic. Today we're going to be going over gates, which are essentially the fates of the gold saucer. And basically when you get into the gold saucer, you'll see occasional pop-ups on the screen that show you that a certain gate is about to start. They do run approximately every 20 minutes. You'll get a new one, and after that, it's pretty much just a matter of which one randomly pops up for you. Now, I've noticed the most popular one that comes up is Leap of Faith, but that one does have a lot of variation, as I'll show you later on in the video. Now, real quick, we're going to touch on another topic that is related to the Gold Saucer and Gates, but also touches on other things. Now, I touched on the challenge log a little bit in the first video. And I'm going to go over it a little bit more in this video, because there's not a whole lot to go over with the gates themselves. So, first off, let's dive into this a little bit more real quick. So, the challenge log is something that I believe everyone should get unlocked as soon as you possibly can. Now, one of the things that you're going to see is that you can get a lot of experience and gill and things like that from running other stuff in the challenge log. But a lot of people don't realize you can get additional MGP from doing challenges in the challenge log as well. So when you're looking at things like playing a couple of little mini games or uh, participating in the gates or going through uh, doing chocobo racing or playing triple triad, all these different things will actually give you additional MGP for completing them in the challenge log. So when we're looking at mini games, you could potentially get an additional 2,500 MGP just from playing mini games, and not even including the additional MGP you're going to get from the mini games themselves. So, when it comes to things like what we're going to talk about in this video, which is gates, if you participate in five gates, you get an additional 5,000 MGP. You don't even have to complete them, you just have to participate in them. Now, if you successfully complete three of them, you get an additional 8,000. So that's an additional 13,000 MGP just for participating in gates. And I think that that's actually worthwhile. So I definitely suggest if you haven't already unlocked the challenge log to help with leveling or anything like that, then I would suggest that you go in and unlock it if you're going to go into the gold saucer because it will definitely help boost the amount of MGP you're earning as you're playing through games or playing gates or chocobo racing or whatever and that MGP will come in handy when you want to buy things later on whether they be something like a mount or a pet or any of the cards for triple triad or any of the stuff that you need for chocobo re racing and rearing now all of this is great to have and all of that, but let's go ahead and see how you're going to earn some of that MGP. So first off today, we're going to be talking about the actual gates that are available in the Gold Saucer. Now, I wasn't really able to get video footage of every single gate in the Gold Saucer, but that's okay because of the fact that this is more of just an introduction to gates and the type of gates that you may come across. Now, this right here that I'm showing on screen now is Air Force One. This is one that's kind of like a little mini shooting game. Now, as you fly through the Gold Saucer, the medallions will pop up that you have to shoot for additional points, but then you'll also have other medallions pop up that you have to avoid shooting because they will reduce your score. Now, I really enjoy this one, it's kind of fun, but I also play a lot of shooters on top of playing MMOs, so it's 
not exactly that difficult to see myself playing this sort of game and enjoying it. But essentially, as you fly through, you gain additional score points. Now, your final score is going to determine how much additional MGP you're actually going to get because as you're flying around and shooting these, increasing your score, you're also increasing your bonus that you're going to get at the end. Now, once you complete the gate, it will give you a final score screen and that'll tell you how well you did and give you your final reward. Now, next up, we're going to be looking at some of the cliffhangers that you can run across. Now, cliffhangers is actually the name of the gate, but there are multiple different versions of it you can come across. Now, this is one of the instances of a gate that will actually change from time to time. So, you'll see cliffhanger and leap of faith and things like that actually change. Uh, I'll show you some more details about leap of faith later, but for right now, uh, cliffhanger is actually really simple. Once you actually get the hang of it, it's pretty much just parkour across the course and rescue at the end. And you get your base MGP. No, there's no bonus chances or anything like that here. However, the cliffhangers do have the added ability to retry. So if you fall off, then you don't have to worry about it. You can go back to the start and retry. And there are other gates that you may come across that don't let you retry or restart. Once you either finish it or fail out of it, that's it. It's done. So these are really nice in the fact that if you don't get it the first try, it's not a big deal. You can redo it. But I do think that the cliffhangers are a really easy, quick for way of getting some MGP. So if you see those pop up, I suggest giving them a try. All right. Now, on the other side of the fence, we've got a gate where if you fall off, you cannot restart, you can't jump back in, and you can't retry it. You would have to wait for it to pop back up again if you wanted to do it again. Now, this is one of a couple that you'll do on this particular platform in the center of the Gold Saucer's one area. This is the Slice is Right, and it is basically a dodging game and what you're going to be doing is as Yojimbo is slicing down bamboo shoots you're going to be dodging the parts that fall some of them can fall in one giant chunk or some of them can fall in multiple small chunks and you've got to figure out which is which before you figure out where you're going to move to so it's a very reactionary thing where you have to pay attention to the bamboo before it falls and move accordingly now, as this particular gate goes on, it gets harder and harder as the bamboo shoots will get more plentiful. You'll go from two to three to four. And as I showed right here, if you get knocked off, you have to wait till the next time it comes back up. Now, if you get knocked off early, you don't get a whole lot of MGP for it. But if you can make it through to at least the second round of it, then you will get a nice little bump in your MGP earned and if you can make it all the way through to the end you will get a pretty decent amount of MGP for actually making it all the way so this is one that scales the longer you're able to stay on the platform now the second one that we're gonna look at that is like this is called any way the wind blows it takes place on the same platform and it's got the same basic concept where you have to stand in the right place and actually pay attention but the difference is you can't control your character the entire time you will get hit with a red light effect and that red light effect will cause you to stop wherever you're standing and be unable to move so if you're standing in the wrong place when it hits you with the red light effect you will get knocked off of the platform and that'll be it game over so it's all about where you stand and figuring out the best positioning in this one. Now we get into the one that I saw the most during the entire time I was running through trying to record all of these. And that one is Leap of Faith. Now I ran across at least four different variations of Leap of Faith, some of them not very different from the others and some of them drastically different from the others. And 
the whole thing of Leap of Faith is that you are running around this map that is all parkour, and you're going from this end all the way across to a goal at the other end. And as you're going along, you'll also see these bronze, silver, and a gold cactar. You can pick these up and get bonus points for grabbing them all, or you can just go ahead and finish the course and not worry about the cactars. I would suggest at least grabbing the ones that you know you can get, and try for some that look a little bit harder to grab, because even if you fall trying to get them, the whole thing with Leap of Faith is it'll just send you back to the start, and you have to go back from the beginning again, but you will always have whatever cactars you pick up. So as long as there's time still on the clock, go for it. If you don't think you're going to make it to the end in time, then just go ahead and run past the cactars. Now, the thing is with the cactars, they do pop up in different locations. So you can run the exact same Leap of Faith map multiple times, and the cactars may be in different positions each time you run it but they will all be generally in the same places on the maps each time or around the same area. So it's not like it's gonna be too hard to figure out where you can find them. Now, the gold cactar is the hardest one to get just because of how they've positioned the things you've got to jump on. And I've recorded that this is the first time on this character that I was able to actually get the gold cactar. Um, I've gotten it on other characters, but it is not something I usually go for. I will usually just skip past it and go straight for the goal and get all the other cactars besides the gold one. And you will see what the full amount of MGP you're capable of getting is based on your score of grabbing all the cactars and finishing Leap of Faith, you will get 4,000 MGP. And honestly, that's not bad, especially if you factor in using things like the challenge log and other ways of gaining MGP as you're playing in the Gold Saucer. So as far as this video goes, I covered some of the possible gates you can encounter in the Gold Saucer. There are a number more that I didn't actually cover or get video of just because they didn't randomly come up for me whenever I was actually running through recording all this. So, if you'd like to check out these gates or any other gates that are in the Gold Saucer, feel free to drop in, talk to an attendant, and find out what gate happens to be up right then. And like I said, it changes every 20 minutes. So, if you pop in at 5 minutes till the hour, then you're about to have a new one pop up for you. So, it's a great way to pass some time, get some MGP, and have a little bit of fun. Now, if you're stuck waiting around for a gate to start, there are all of the random little mini-games that are actually scattered throughout the Gold Saucer that I mentioned in my previous video. They are right next to pretty much every location that you're going to see a gate at, so if you talk to a Gold Saucer attendant and they teleport you to where the next gate's going to be, and you've got a little bit of time to kill, feel free to grab one of the little vending machines or one of the little basketball machines or whatever and try your luck see if you can earn some mgp while you're waiting i'd like to thank everyone who was able to stop in today and watch the video and i'd really appreciate if you could like comment subscribe down below and if you would rather see the triple triad chocobo or mahjong video next i'm working on all three of them right now if you have a preference please let me know in the comments below and I'll make sure I finish that one first. Now, those videos going forward should be a little bit more in depth than this one. That's just because of the fact that the gates were so varied and it's so hard to get all of them on camera that I just wanted to give a quick overview and give you an idea of what gates are out there and what they're like if you wanted to jump in and try them. That'll be all for today. Thank you for coming aboard and this is Fween the Skull Pirates signing off.